Hey folks, Michael Daniels here with a tip for you guys. Those that use StreamYard, if you don't know what StreamYard is, it's a live streaming service. Um, some people have asked about how do I use a green screen using StreamYard? Well, I'm going to show you using OBS Virtual Camera. What is OBS Virtual Camera? If you look up in that corner, that corner, one of those corners, you'll see a little eye and a little thing will pop up and show, show you a video of OBS virtual camera video that I did on how to set that up. That's a whole different video. So what I'm going to show you today is how to do a green screen using OBS. And I promise it won't hurt a bit. Check this out. So I'm in the StreamYard create a broadcast section and I've already created a broadcast it's green screen using OBS virtual camera you can see that I'm going to enter the broadcast studio now as you can see here I have my C920 camera that I'm using to in this video I'm going to be switching over to the OBS camera but I'll show you how to do that when we get into that point I'm going to click add to stream down in the bottom left so now I'm on screen with just green that's all I have let me bring OBS on screen and I'm going to shrink it down. When I bring OBS on screen, it's going to be smaller. It's going to be uh, off to the side so it doesn't take up all the room. Yours may look different than this. It might be the non dark mode version. You might have different things in different places, but that's a whole nother video and I can show you that stuff too. Okay. So first thing I want to do, I have a scene. We're going to call this, we can rename this if we want, we can right click and rename. Let's just name this main scene. Okay, so now I have main scene. I'm going to add my camera. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to video capture device and I'm going to go C922 because I have three cameras. So I'm going to go to the, it sees all my different cameras that I have. I have OBS camera. I'm going to change that. Uh, I don't need that right now. I'm going to go to the C922. So there that turned on and opened my C922 camera. Okay. There's a bunch of choices here. We're just going to, I'm making this as simple as I can and show you how quick I can do this. So I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to make this so it fits full screen with the green. I can actually take my microphone out of it too by going and just making this large enough to where it gets my shoulders and me and boom. And there I am on screen. Next, I would like to add a video. So let's add a video again down, down here to the plus sign. I click on that and then I'm going to add a media source. OK, so I'm going to grab a media source. We're going to call this cool fall background. OK, this is a video that I have on my I have an external drive, so I'm going to browse for it. I'm going to go grab it and I want to put this. Let's say this fall scene that's over here. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to put this on screen. So I bring that, put that on screen. I'm going to loop it. Okay. So you don't see it yet. It doesn't show up yet, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to loop it and hit okay. So now I have this really cool fall scene that I have on screen. It's kind of neat, right? Um, you, this is a very large video. You can see the red lines that it's very large. So I'm going to actually shrink this down a little bit, make this fit. So I get the full effect and scene here. Now, obviously that's not going to go all the way. So I'm going to drag it just a little. There you go. So now it's on screen. So you see how I have everything on there, right? Everything's cool. But where's my video? Where'd my video go? So now I'm going to bring my camera to the front and I do that. Now, if you notice, I've still got green. So I, while I'm on my camera, I'm on the C922, right click filters. I'm going to choose filters second from the bottom. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to add a effect, effect filters. I'm going to plus sign, chroma key. Okay, you can rename it if you want, but I just leave it chroma key. And now if I move this out of the way, you see that's pretty clear video and I have a background. It's kind of a little bit of, I don't know if you can see this, but a little bit of the fringe there, green on the side and stuff. One thing that I like to do on my C9 22 or whatever camera I have a lot of times I will uh, make sure that and adjust so this locks in because the lighting changes when I do stuff like this and do whatever but you'll see that in just a second so what we'll do is we will close this okay so now I have this and I have the background and you can see how that is a little bit of 
fuzz, but I think that's the blurry from the video. We're gonna try a different method too. I'm gonna try something where you can see a video that I have on YouTube and bring in as a back. First of all, let me turn the background off. And to do that, so right here's the background, right? You can see the camera, background. If I hit this little eyeball, it turns the background off. And notice the little fuzzy that you see on screen. So let's adjust that. You can do a little bit of adjusting. Let's go to the C922, right click, go to filters, because remember that's where our chroma key is. And then I click on it. I'm gonna try and slide this off to the side and I can make a few, uh, slight adjustments like you can see right here. I'm just gonna go up a little bit 402, 405. You can kind of see that fuzz going away. That's pretty good, but I like the uh, the greens disappearing around the edges. And I like that this is, it's still got a little bit of fuzz, but I'm good with that. I'm gonna hit close. Okay, hit close. Now, if I bring that background back on, that, that's even more clear now. So that's pretty good, I like that. Now, I'm gonna show you, like I said, the winter background, I'm gonna show you a video that I have. Now I have five monitors. You might not have the ability to do this, but here's what I do. I go right here, hit the plus, and I do a, a window capture. I'm gonna do a window capture. So I'm gonna call this one snow. Now I have the, this comes up with what it thinks is right, and then I have snowstorm right here. And you can see it's a YouTube video, I hit okay. Now I'm going to, I hold down alt, okay? When I take this bottom corner, hold down alt, and I move this window over. Then I take the top corner and I do the same thing here and I take I do Alt as well. So now I have just the video window and I'm going to expand that. Boom, it's perfect on screen. I got the snow playing. And again, the snow is in front of my camera. I need to pull that down back behind. So down back behind is what you remember, right? Okay, so now now I have the snow behind me, that other cool background. Now what I can do here too is I can turn that off and turn on the cool background, the video that I have from my computer, and I can toggle between those. Even during the show, I can actually, since the snow follows the next one in line, that's what's showing. If I turn that off, then the snow is back behind it. So you could have four different backgrounds layered, and that's how that works using OBS camera. So now how do I get that into my StreamYard? So if I'm in StreamYard, all I do is I go into my camera and mic setting down here and I change that from the C920 camera to my OBS camera. OBS camera, boom, there it comes in, done, and there you go. So now the stream is showing my camera with the background if I decide to turn that off on my OBS, no one ever knows, boom, it's right there. I have that where it goes right into that next scene. And I, all I'm doing over here is just turning that on and off, okay? So if I were to bring another person on, you that background will only show in my screen because StreamYard separates and does their own backgrounds and stuff. And you can't do an animated background right now with StreamYard. Okay, so now I've invited my mobile self in. You can see it right here. This is what I was talking about is you lose that background. Only the background is in the one person. It doesn't go to the background back here because it doesn't allow video on the background. So, so that is using StreamYard with a virtual background, OBS virtual camera to bring in a background that's animated. Hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to join our community. I'll put a link down below for our community. We have a subscribe community where we learn stuff just like this. So hopefully that's helpful. I hope I helped you today. Um, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed this. Also, if you can subscribe, you can get more videos just like this. And uh, I love to show people stuff and teach people stuff. So 
Hope this helps. Thank you very much.